we are with um, another couple and we want to talk about, um, we want to share what's funny about relationship. What we hate! <laughs> what we hate! See, this is funny right now. I hate he's it. on a hate, he's on a hate trip. So go ahead, talk about what you hate. I'll tell you what, I, you, know what I, you know what I hate? I tell you what I hate. What do you hate, Satya? When you tell me to do stuff in the house that you're doing, like you scold me, not with your words, but your look. I hate that scolding look. Like, what am I? Your child? Your kid? Your man boy? Your man slave? Your, your totem pole? What am I? What am I? I hate that. Because you know what? I'm reclaiming my dignity now. I'm reclaiming my dignity in my house. And I hate that I've lost it. And that I've been cleaning up and making the bed when you tell me to. When I don't feel like I want to make the bed. I feel after you make the bed, I want to mess it. Not because I'm going to lay in it. It's because... It's child. Because kids, because people may be coming over. And the last thing I want them to see is the fucking sheets all <laughs> nice and smooth. I want them to see... Because that that's the way it always I, is. I, I want that's to, the real... I want them to see... That's right. I want that's them to so see funny. how I live. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to work and then I'm going to nap and then I'm going to work and then I'm going to be open and then I'm going to, I don't care and then when I feel like being clean or smooth, I'll be smoothing out that way. What the? And I hate that I've been I don't know that's what I hate what do you hate? I hate the fact that you think that. <laughs> I do because because it's like it's it, it, there's there's times where I feel like it's piggish, you know. It's piggish to live like that. <laughs> piggish. It's piggish. You know, I, I can't stand piggishness. And I think like that you, if you, if you can't make your bed after you lay down in it, it's piggish. You know. Gonna start to, to check out that word piggish online. <laughs> it's not really a, a word. word. It's a word. Piggish. I've just coined it's from it. From your dictionary. I've just coined <laughs> it. Piggish. Piggish TM. But you know, piggish TM. <laughs> exactly. You know what that means. <laughs> you know, I it's just like a, It's like a state of, you know, here it is. Here it is that you can't, that, what I hate is that I feel like you can't appreciate that I've created this sense of like, Calm. The sense of like the bed is made, the place is clean. You can clear your mind. You can walk into there, and you can have so many creative thoughts. But if the freaking bed is not made, then it's like you come into a room. The bed's not made. The rest of the place is made up, but the bed's not made. It's like it takes you off your your thought, your creative thought. From you could be having like this great creative thought, and then you at least me. I would walk into a room and I see the bed's not made, then it takes me off of my creative thought. It takes me off of my moment of like, ah, oh, I could have had a, like a great aha moment, a moment of like, oh, I just discovered something. I just discovered the world in some great way. And then all of a sudden the bed's not made. It just like sucks me down into this one point in the room. And it's like, ah, I just forgot this great thought. And now I'm seeing this bed that's not made. It's, it's, it's crucial. You know what I hate? It's that horrible. you can, you can collapse in one <laughs> movement. We call it you the can bed. collapse this highest <laughs> thinking, this deep state of openness and love for your husband. And, and, and all of a sudden, I have become, you know, like, I'm a toppled, the bed. <laughs> toppled to, to debil debilitated in your eyes. Really? But it's As not a that. Lower, uh, it's but, not that. But, but see, to me, to me, it's to like, me, yeah, but to me, what also I hate is that you can't see that that's how you see the world. <laughs> and it's got it's nothing. Not. It's and like it's like not me. Not and dead. that your world is not the only <laughs> world, but you no. actually believe the world revolves <laughs> no. around clean. No, but that, that bed, that bed not made, uh, it's like a sword. 
it's like a sword that comes and punctures my love. You know, it's like it's like in a moment of great heart openness. It's like all of a sudden you take that sword and stab me in that moment. It's like Oh. Like, how could you do that to me? The you gloves think, are off now, then. Yeah, yeah, you know. think that that bed not made is just lying there? It's not lying. It wasn't lying there before when it was made. It wasn't lying there before. It was the place was filled with love. And all of a sudden, you came over and you had to mess up the bed, didn't you? I walked in with this loving energy, this space of love, this great open heart, which continues. But it's like... All of a sudden, I'm like grasping at my heart. I'm feeling stabbed in the moment. You know, I'm feeling stabbed by you when you just like come in and and don't notice. In a really? moment of unaware, you're unaware that I've just created this loving space and you just come and stab me, stab me, stab <laughs> me with your unaware, uh, unawareness. Uh. Up for Joseph. <laughs> whoa, that was that. Whoa, that took deep, baby. That yeah, took deep. That's how it feels. Oh, to that me. came out on the other side. That felt so good. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, you know what I hate? I really hate that you don't see me for who I am. Because if you did fully, you'd be bringing me grapes as I was even singing songs as I walked <laughs> and, throwing, <laughs> and and picking oh up after God. me. You would be picking up after me. You'd be cleaning up after me. Yeah. You would, you would, oh. you would, you would do it happily, joyfully. You would stab me. You would, right? you, would stab me. you would, you would just see my love for you and all that I do for you, <laughs> for my family. <laughs> For the world! That's why I make the bed. For God! That's why the bed. For Mother Earth! <laughs> Everything! And you don't see that. that and you, you that and you, you and you focus on the messy bed! And <laughs> after all that I do, after all that I sacrifice. See, that he doesn't see that the bed that's made. Oh. is not the grapes that he's asking for. Oh. That's oh. the thing. Oh. Like, he's looking for grapes. He's looking oh. for it in a certain <laughs> form. And he doesn't oh. realize that when I come into a oh. room and I prepare it in such a way that I make the bed and I notice the things on the bed and I notice what's there and, that's, and that in a moment, if it's messed up, I notice that. <laughs> the fact that he doesn't know that I notice that it's, that's like, that's what I hate because here I am giving this offering and then when you, when you like just met, like not that you, that you don't enjoy the bed, go into the bed, enjoy the bed, have fun with the bed, but, but treat it like a, treat it like the way that it's presented to you, you know, like give it that honoring. Give it that, or the same honoring you want it bestowed on you. When it's bestowed on you, what do you do with it? You stab it. <laughs> you stab it. You leave it stabbed. So, so you, what you ask for, you get. And then when you get it, what do you do with it? That's my, that's my hey, pain. You know what I hate? That I don't feel guilty about this. <laughs> I feel like... And I know you hate that too. I feel not a, even a smidgen an ounce, a subtle type of ownership of this in any way is nothing more than your machinations and extreme, extreme um, wackiness about some small matter in life when only the big things matter. And that subjectively in the ocean of concerns that befall us and all human beings and the showerings of of grace and abundance that we live by in every moment and the near impeccability of everything around us and the joy and the birds are singing and spring is blooming and, and the air is fresh and we're disease free and we're eating healthy food and like you know you know what I mean we're smelling the roses life is fresh we're alive and uh, 